Hello and welcome to Dart tutorial. In this video, you will learn about constructor in Dart. Constructor is used to initialize the object value. Let me share my screen and let's see a complete demo. Okay, here you can see constructor in Dart. A constructor is a special method. Constructor is a method. Okay, we already discussed about method in our previous section. It is used to initialize an object. You can initialize the values of object using constructor, which is very, very easy. I will uh, show you demo very, very soon. Okay. It is automatically called when object is created. Const constructor is called automatically when object is created. Okay. And it can be used to set the initial values of the object properties. Okay. That is fine. For example, the following code create a person class object and set the initial value values for names, name and age properties. Here you can see person, person is equal to person. We have initialized the values of one is name, another one is age. If we don't use constructor, then we need to initialize value by this way. Here you can see this is the long way. This is just one line way and very, very easy. Okay. Here are the things to remember. The constructor name should be the same as class name. Constructor and class name must be same. Okay. Constructor does not have any return type. We already uh, discussed in our uh, method section that uh, method has return type you can create uh, a method with return type but constructor does not have any return type okay now here you can see syntax just you need to write a class name and body of constructor i will show you a simple example of constructor first okay for that let me create ctor dot dot okay constructor dot dot okay First of all, let me create one class. Okay. The class name is person. I will say person dot dot. Okay. I will say class class and class name is person. And let's write two things. One is a string name. Another one is integer is okay okay now let's create constructor okay to create constructor first of all you need to write a class name okay and then you need to write if you write nothing then this is the default constructor okay this is the default constructor let me write question mark here and also write question mark here for null safety okay this is the default constructor and I will just print something here. Okay. Let me print. Constructor is called. Constructor is called. Okay. Now let's create our main method. Void main. And let's create object of person. Okay. I will say person p is equal to new person or you can if you don't write new then that will be okay now let's run the code okay here we are creating object okay now let me run the code i will just say dot our file name is person dot dot okay okay here you can see constructor is called when you just create object from a class then constructor is automatically called okay this is the way and constructor is used to initialize the value how we can initialize the value if i want to uh, print the name of print p dot name what will be the output let's print the name i'll run here you can see null this is null what if we need name here and we can initialize that 
name and age here in line number 11 okay for that first of all you need to pass a string to value you can say name and you can say integer is okay and then here you need to write this dot name is equal to name and another one this dot is is equal to is okay here you can see we are passing name and is let's pass name and is i will pass name is john and i will pass is is 13 okay or 30 okay now while printing p dot name if i run this program here you can see john got printed and in the similar way if i print is here you can see 30 got printed in this way you can use constructor to initialize the value here is uh, one uh, message constructor is called because we are also printing uh, that on line number six if you if you remove that then it will not so visible to you okay okay in this way you can use constructor in that okay what is the meaning of this this okay this this means while we are creating a person class and the object name is p this p dot name is equal to zone this p dot is is equal to 30 okay here you can see here is also name and is first of all this zone and this 30 name and is value pass here name becomes uh, zone and age becomes 30 and this name this dot name means this name okay this refers to class name okay and this uh, name is this one name you can also write n and a here and you need to write n and a here okay in this way you can also perform the task okay okay this is the actual meaning of constructor and actual demonstration of constructor okay let's move forward okay here you can see how to declare constructor in that we have already done this example now let's move uh, forward here you can see the this keyword is used to refer the current instance of class it is used to access the current class properties in the example above parameter names and the properties of the constructor student are the same okay here you can see this and this name is and roll number are same so we are using this to avoid the confusion okay okay this is the way to use this in that constructor okay okay now let's see another example here is also a same example you can also write method okay i'll say void display and i will print name is name and i will print age is dollar is okay okay if you are from uh, java background then you can you must write uh, this here if you are from that and then in that if, if you don't write this then that will be also okay fine okay now let's do not print this one just write p dot display okay this will display the value of person okay here you can see name is john and age is 30 and you can also uh, display uh, other object okay let me create another person object person p2 is equal to person i will say name is harry and i will say age is 23 and if i write p2 dot display then if i run this program 
here you can see name is Harry and age is 23 got printed. In this way, you can create multiple object of the same class using constructor. Okay, now let's move forward. Okay, here you can see another example constructor in Dart. Here is a uh, car, car class and here you can see name and price are the properties of that. Uh, car class and constructor is used to initialize the values of that name and price and we have one method that is display which is used to display the name and price of the car and we created object from that class car and we have initialized the value bmw and price of that car and we have used car dot display method to display the result of car in this way you can use constructor and here is also another example you can see here is a staff class uh, with four properties and here uh, here is a constructor for initializing the values of name phone one and subject here is not phone two okay here you can see here is phone two but in constructor there is no phone two and while display, displaying the result we are displaying all the name phone one phone two and uh, subject let's uh, see the result here you can see phone 2 is not okay in this way you can use constructor you can also initialize your own values it is not uh, required to initialize all the properties value okay uh, it is uh, completely your choice okay now let's move forward right constructor is in a uh, single line okay right constructor in single line you can also write constructor in single line okay let's write this constructor in single line for this you just need to remove this one and remove this one okay just you need to write this dot name and this dot name comma this dot is okay okay this is similar if i run this program nothing will be changed nothing will change okay here you can see name is June, age is 30, you must write this dot name and this dot age. This is similar to this one, okay? This is similar to this one. This is, this, uh, this make our code very, very easy, okay? You can just write this dot name and just write comma, this dot age, okay? This is uh, single line example of constructor okay now let's move forward writing constructor with optional parameter okay optional parameter means you can uh, you can pass the value or you if you don't pass the value then that will be also okay now let's do this one okay for the optional parameter let me make optional parameter is is okay just I'll write square bracket here okay if i write square bracket here then age is optional if i don't pass the age of person p then this program will work and this will display the null value okay if i run the run this program here you can see name is john age is null and name is harry and age is 23 you can also initialize it with, with default value is equal to zero or it is your choice based on uh, the scenario you are working okay here you can see now is is zero you can also initialize with some default value okay this is the way how to use optional parameter in constructor okay we already discussed about this optional parameter in our uh, method section okay you can also move to the method section and learn more about it okay now uh, this is this is very very important constructor with named parameter okay named parameter is very very useful just i'll remove this one optional parameter okay for now and i will say curly i'll write curly bracket here and curly bracket here and i'll write one word that is required r e q u i r e d required and required now if you write curly bracket then here you can see you uh, wrote curly bracket 
and this is named parameters okay named parameters and named constructor are different things okay let's use named parameters okay for the name parameter you need to write here name name zone and you need to write is and is here okay this makes your code a lot simpler okay now let me write name is harry and age is 23 okay if i run this program you can see the same output in this way you can use named parameter in constructor okay okay there is also another concept which is uh, named constructor i will also uh, discuss about this uh, this named constructor in upcoming section okay now let's move forward and here you can see constructor with default values you can uh, already we already discussed that uh, you can also uh, write a default value for the constructor just you need to write name is equal to uh, okay this the, doesn't make any sense we are writing required and okay if i say this dot name is equal to hello and if i if i doesn't uh, don't pass name here okay i'll just only pass is and if i run this program then name is hello okay in this way you can pass the default value for the object okay using constructor and i hope uh, this section is very very helpful for you and here are some key points the constructor names should be the same as class name okay the constructor does not have return type okay and another one is constructor is only called once at the time of object creation while you create object constructor is called automatically constructor is called automatically when an object is created constructor is used to initialize the values of the properties of the class okay here is one challenge for you create a class patient with three properties name is and disease the class has one constructor create one constructor the constructor is used to initialize the values of three properties also create object of patient called patient print the values of three properties using the object okay you can try uh, this problem on your own and comment below the code okay and i will see that code and i will uh, provide you feedback thank you so much for watching this video up to the very end i will see you in the next video if you like this video hit the like button and share with your friends i will see you in the next video thank you